In this video, we're going to be learning how you can add professional skeleton loadings like these before your content gets loaded up. So skeleton loaders are one of the unique and really easy way for the user to understand if any content is getting loaded in your website or your web application. So in this video, we're going to be using React and we're going to be learning how you can use these skeleton loaders when your content is getting fetched from an API or your backend server. So without any delay, let's get started and let's learn how to build this. All right, so here I am in my VS Code. I have set up the React and I've also, also set up Tailwind for this since we're going to be using Tailwind for the CSS and the styling. Now, obviously, we won't be going too deep into how to install and how to do the stuff, but I'll obviously be running through the code that we have here and also the card company just so that we could have an idea what is actually going on. Now, first, let's run through this code. So what we basically are doing is we have a variable for the post and we have the setter function for that set post, uh, which we get from the use state hook. Now, what we are doing is when the page loads using the use effect, inside of this, we're fetching some content from the JSON placeholder. Now this JSON placeholder returns us an array of objects. Now this array doesn't really have any image. So first of all, we're limiting the content to only six. And then since these don't really have an image, we're basically looping through each individual post and adding an additional image URL key value pair. Now these key value pair for each individual post would have a unique image. The way we do it is we're targeting or we're basically passing in the URL of pick some photos. And then here for each individual unique image, we just need here a unique number. So for this unique number, we're basically adding the post ID, which basically is one through six in this case. So for each individual post, we have a different unique image for each post. Now, once we have the unique post with images, we basically set this up in this set post. And now we have the post ready. So the way we use the post is basically inside here, we map through the post. And for each individual post, basically render the card component. Now the card component first has the title, the body image URL. And then this key is basically a unique identifier so that the browser can understand that each individual card is unique. Now let's run through the card component. Now, as I've said, the card component is, is pretty simple. So we have the title, body, and image URL. And then we're basically having some styling with background, border radius, some shadow overflow hidden width, and then some styling for the images, and then some padding for the container, which holds the title and also the body. Now, keep in mind that we're adding here a clamp. If this has more than three, let's say four lines of uh, content, it will start adding the ellipses at the end. Now, the issue here is, let's say I refresh the page and we don't have any kind of indicator just so that we can understand that we're basically fetching or our page is in a loading state. So you want each individual content to have its own unique loading. Now, the best way to do is, is using skeleton loaders. So when I refresh, we don't really see anything. So what we want to do is first in the app, we first create a variable with the name of loading and we have the set loading as is as its setter function. And then we use the use state and initially we set it as true. So whenever this app or whenever we load the page would have the loading set to true. And then when we have the post ready, when we set the post, then we want it to be false. Or if we have some errors, we also we want to stop the loading. Now, once these are done, so once we have the loading state done, what we want to do is in the card as well, we want to pass in a state of loading. So here we're passing in is loading and here we're just passing in the value of loading. Now, in this case, the is loading is not getting used since here we're not using that prop. So to use that, we add here is loading and now we're going to check. So if there is a loading, state so what we want to do is we want to render out a different content so what we want to do is we want to return same stuff as this but this one would have some different styling so 
what we want to do is we want instead of the image we'd have a div with height same as the image but we'd use this animate pulse which is an animation that is provided by tailwind and then same for this content we have a p4 and then instead of your h3 and then the paragraph would add a div if we have an empty div we can't really have the background so to have the background we need a height so we just paste in that and then for the body we just add this space y 1.5 which basically means here we have a line height of 20 pixels so if we have a div we can't really have a line height so instead of that we're adding margin top and bottom and here we pass in three lines so the first one has uh, this the second one would have a width of five by six and then the third one would have a height of four by six now if we save if i refresh we should see the loader but we don't see any loader the reason for that is because initially when the page loads the post is empty so if the post is empty it doesn't really matter whether we're adding here is loading to true or not this won't get rendered what we want to do is we want to check so here we basically check if the loading is true that we want to do is we want here to create an array of six since remember we have a limit of six meaning that we only have six objects so we create an array of six and then we fill them with null basically means that each of the array would be empty and then what we do is we map through each of the empty array we take the empty array and then the index and then we render out six cards so each of them have a unique index and then here we set the is loading to loading now if there if this loading is true obviously this value would be true and if this is true then this content would get rendered instead of this so if the loading is true we do this else if it is not then we just do what we were doing before we we'll just map through the post and then we'll just paste in like that and let's save now if i refresh you'd see the loading for a split second so what we can do is let's open up our terminal and here you can go to this network tab and then you can this you, you can just disable this cache and then here you can change the speed so let's say i want 3g maybe which is super slow maybe let's keep 4g and let's hard refresh it you see the loading and then you have the content getting loaded up so yeah that's it so make sure to subscribe and like the video if you liked it comment down below if you already knew about this or if you know any better way or better solution make sure to comment down and yeah meet you guys in the next video till then bye bye